important. I mean, I'm made up of 80% water, so... Water is quite important to me. I wouldn't be able to do my dishes, wash my laundry, um, make any type of oatmeal for my kid in the morning without water. So it's pretty important for everything. They shut off the water and you're kind of like, what do I do? How do I flush my toilet? How do I do anything, really? I, I need it to survive. If I don't have water, I'll die. It's very important. Um, it's important to me because it gives me the opportunity to shower, <laughs> look good. Um, um, I don't know. It's part of living, so I mean, you know, it's beneficial in many ways. Pretty important. I mean, I use it every day. I drink it every day, and yeah, it's pretty important in my life. It's not really a question I think about mostly. Um, I guess water is really important because it keeps you hydrated, and um, you know, if you're feeling sick, drink water. Um, can't be very high considering even desert animals need to go and store water. So I don't think much the percentage, maybe a bug. <laughs> so very low, then again bugs are a high percentage of the world, but you know, how much water do bugs really use? I don't. I kind of want to say zero. I don't know, is there some that don't? No, I don't think so, because... Maybe if a bug go there. I, I guess so, but I don't know. I know bugs use water. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I've never actually heard of that before. Well, at least nobody's ever asked me that. <laughs> Well, I would think it would probably be in like Nova Scotia. They're around all the water. And I honestly have no idea. Um, I don't know. We're in... Yeah, I don't know that actually. Mm, that's a good question. I actually don't know. I don't actually. Um, no, but I'm pretty sure our water goes to like the Red River from like toilets and things like that. Is, um, I want to say the Hudson Bay. If that is the right answer. <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, Shoal Lake? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably because Africa doesn't have any water and all the water that's is out there, like in the oceans, it's full of salt, so you'd have to like get all of that stuff out and whatever beforehand, you can't just drink it. I feel like we use water for really stupid reasons, like um, some people when they brush their teeth, they leave the water running while they do it, which is really, really stupid, because it's such a waste of water, like why not just turn it on when you gotta rinse your toothbrush, you know, kind of thing like that. And like, I don't know, there's so many other, like, countries out there that don't have the clean water we have and eventually we're going to run out of this clean water. In some parts of the world, yes. Why? Because it's been polluted. It's not taken care of. It's not filtered. Unlike our water here, where it's been filtered and cleaned. So I've heard there's actually more and more places going into a drought lately and that obviously means people aren't being like considerate of how much water they're using like in California, 
their salmon's dying off right now. Because of climate change, I believe. Because of, I believe that Antarctica right now is melting because of the major climate change that's been happening over the years, and it's kind of affecting everything. And Probably not. Uh, I think that kind of contributes to like the way we use our water and um, we just don't use it. We're not smart about our water. We, we take advantage of it and we use it for really dumb things and we use too much of it when we know we don't need that much, kind of stuff like that. And I feel like eventually, I mean, either our supply of water will be cut off or we'll actually just run out of water and yeah. Probably this is a pretty rich country. Maybe not down in further generations though. If we start conserving it maybe but if we keep throwing contaminants into it and not being mindful of how much we're using, no. No. I think it'll be polluted by then. You'll run out. Possibly not, at the rate that things are going right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Not clean. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people do it. I mean, I wouldn't really want to do it. I mean, I wouldn't dunk my head in. I mean, I've seen people water skiing on the Red River. <laughs> no. Water conservation, um, what is it? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I mean, I'm like... What's your idea? I think it's the way we, by the word conservation, I feel like it's the way we conserve our water. So like how we use it, um, what we put it towards, that kind of stuff, kind of. Hell no. <laughs> Conserving water. So like taking shorter showers. Well, in my opinion, water conservation is being conscious of how much water you're using, like taking a shorter shower, putting, getting like say a low, like a lower water using toilet, um, not leaving half empty bottles of water everywhere, actually finishing your water and then recycling it after you getting a reusable water bottle so you're using less. I don't take advantage of the fresh, clean water we have. I only use what I need, and I only take what I need. Um, especially, I mean, keeping the thought in mind of other people that don't have clean water and that have to go through the process of cleaning their water just to use it as we just kind of get it, you know. I think it's a good idea, but I don't think I can take a shower that's less than half an hour. attitude about water conservation is that more people should try to do it. There's a lot of ways we can avoid it, like instead of buying a 24 ca case of bottled waters at Costco, which is easier and more convenient, we could just carry around our own bottle of water and just refill it at all the water fountains we have around in the school. Tap water usually has fluoride in it, sodium, and sugar, and I believe bottled water has added vitamins, added minerals, still sodium content, and sugar as well. Maybe more sugar than bottled water, but I don't know about the fluoride aspect of bottled water. I wish I knew these. <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I don't know what's in either, actually. 
be 100% honest. Hmm. They don't teach you these things, they should. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I would say, I wouldn't really know how to measure it, but you know, if you count a shower, a bath for my kid, at least five loads of laundry with five people in my house, coffee, water bottles, I'd say I used like, probably like four tub bowls of water in a day just for tasks, like even simple as making craft dinner. A day? Not lots, to be honest. Like, I don't know, I take, um, probably like three of those. Yeah. 12 meters. Probably a few gallons. Oh, that's bad. I'll say 15 meters. <laughs> a lot. Pretty much from the moment I wake up in the morning until like the end of the day. Thank you.